versus rank 100. Chaddy B on the mic with me and Config receiving them with bullets as they do throw bodies into B. In fact, a quick trade from Fiku, but he won't be closing any rounds here. It's thanks to Zipex. Oh dear, Milky. Oh, nice pivot. A bit of a whiffaroo. Blames secured it and Astralis are uh, right. Maybe they get a plan somehow. I uh, don't know how. Maybe they don't. Maybe they don't. Maybe he gets twelve hundred dollars and Farley gets six hundred. So everyone's happy Can't. with us today. Oh, we've got some energy this it's morning. Good. Yeah, we had our coffees and Lehman's had his power raid because that's a quick one to the head. Ultimate does find the head of Blame with his pistol, and suddenly this round actually is more, a whole lot more threatening. Glaive catching one through the side of Con. He's good to stand his ground. That's just straight up aim duel winning. Fiku, oh, oh, Fiku has managed to put the final bullet necessary into Glaive, gets across, spotted jungle perhaps. Oh, wow, and he's the one taking the jewels with confidence now. Config alone, he was the only to fall, now he's the only one standing. Ultimate and Fiku working their way into the A site, and uh, how how likely is it that as time passes, as this bomb is planted, they check ramp? I mean, they got, someone's going to be looking. Yeah, well, he's very noisy about it. If he cuts noise now, he won't be hurt, but uh, apparently Config's W key is broken. Ultimate... Did he catch a glance? I think he did. Yeah, CT goes to swing out. Oh, oh wee! Scorcher right there, hot one. B, they can hear this coming. Yeah, let's see how far he handles this one. Nice wow. shot. Wow, Lehman caught on the jump across. Good reactions out of Farley. And he is cut down, not going to clear Config. And Config can win the round with two lovely connections on that AK. Two rifles, and they've played this to perfection. Only ultimate now. Looking to... Peak wide on the jump, does get that gap and not gonna hit the quick flick. He's a threat, but not today. You tag up the AWP twice, no oh, blame. He's gonna sweep through, good luck. And oh, it's further. Last time too. He handles that aggression with ease and it's yeah. happening again. They're giving them the fights and Ego are not uh, slouches when it comes to the individuals pointing on the head and clicking. That's uh, that's the fundamentals. And this was one of the themes with Astralis yesterday as well. They always wanted to fight. They always wanted to be in the action. It gives us some great Counter-Strike to watch, but rounds like this become so much more susceptible to Deagles. Oh, yo, yo, Furlan dances gracefully over the orb posted up towards the window. Zipex elsewhere onto Milky. So that's the B player. They are walking into A. They are so low, though. Glaive could have a bit of a shooting gallery. Oh. And there you go. Mission accomplished. Glaive with four and very quick. CTs will shave some time off the clock. Config, woof, just standing in the open. These are the fights. He's ready to take them. He's backing himself in. But Ego, just as quick, just as scary. That shouldn't be anything more to say. Furlan should catch that nade. And does. Zipex on B, a problem. And just like that, a flurry of frags all in favor of Astralis. Already look like we're launched up to seven. But it's ultimate. He's missed his first. They're teasing him now. Zipex even on the USP, just glancing through as Farley posted for the seven. Notice how... Okay, indeed. Now, this is really brutal for Ego. They're going to have nothing and then suddenly everything in front of them. And that might be the marker of the start. Zipex reveals himself jungle, all attention drawn as Config comes out of his hidey hole. He spots out, denies the bomb. The round is over. Fiku falls to the Zipex spray. He's farming up front. Now, window boost is Blame's responsibility and on the fade, gets the kill, gives them an opener. Furlan has been trying his best, but this time the gap's been dealt with and Farley gets one as well. Yeah, it's just winning out these jewels and the fights keep coming to them. They just can't seem to maintain a man advantage for longer than the first 20 seconds. It's also speaking volumes of the trust and the, the presence that Zipex has on that B site because they can essentially fall into a, a 4 1 setup for the majority of the opening round until Zipex calls for aid from Farley. That's nice from Milky. No, I agree with that sentiment. The fact that he's just been the solid anchor and everybody else has been very fluid in their positioning. It has been consistently chopping and changing, hard to read, hard to know what the setup's going to be, double ops or not. But this one here from Agu, Agu, Ago, Fiku with one, and they're good in these rounds. Oh, well managed on the Glaive wide swing. These two again. Yeah, these two like to find ways to close the round. Milky with a low HP opt for the AWP. Config, however, on ramp, and he hasn't denied the bomb. Doesn't immediately propose. Has a smoke here, Alex. Fiku from the jungle side. Config already operating with that assumption. His crosshair is so close to the Fiku. Clear, oh, but another clutch. Holds him, secures it. For They're clearly favoring Astralis in this one, and I'm sure Complexity are hoping that uh, Ego can do what they did and upset. Nade through, bit of tickle damage. Fiku's good on the pistols. And 
No one's looking at him. The silence really favors Fiku there as he gets a chance to touch and whittle away at Config's 100 health pool. Lee Man's got 19, 15, 12, 12 8, eight. Zero. Uh, zero. Yeah, that's what he's got with those. Oh, he delayed long enough so the rotation could get into place. But uh, the biggest issue right now is the fact that Milky has taken all this B space. And if he wants to play a bit of a Wonderland, he could tuck into the classic Polish right. corner. But Give it to me. he ain't doing that. He's going to patrol and control B. And back to Fiku, a second crack of the whip. Oh, he's very peak happy. He's ready to take these jewels and does finish Glaive. Well, he's only got six bullets left. Yeah, he's going to have to count on Furlan as he does go down eventually. This could spiral. Boys, this boys, could boys. Spiral. I, I, we, uh, we see them jump into their jaws. Now oh, Milky. all it takes is Milky to get hit by that one bat. Hey. Whoa, yeah, it pops blame as config rounds the corner. It could still, does Ooh. not go wrong. Me. Well, it's chopping and changing. I'll, I'll bite my tongue. Yeah, doing a bit of everything, but ahead of the smoke, ultimate enabled for one. Blame pretty far good for it. 18 and counting for the buff Dane. Thing is, if Blame goes underpass, he's not really going to add a lot to this round, right? It's now going to come down to Farley and Zip to entry, and then Blame's going to come through late. So they still worry about Blame in mid, but we can see he's joined the pack. Good spot here from Milky. It depends on how they cross, and it should... Oh, Baited has to drop. Has to respect that. Furlan responsible for short. Distracted. Milky takes one, and done. Farley's still around, and indeed is dangerous. This 3v2 can go wrong for Ego. This is must, and must win. Oh. Oh, this gets problematic now. Yeah, it's just on to blame. 19 frags, but bomb ticking in his favor. Now they have to come to him, and he can shoot good, and they do isolate Jules. Fiku through the window. Blame can go anywhere. He's three frags. This could be the fourth. Oh. Fiku's good for it. As a unit, this fight with Blame, Lee Man's waiting for it, and oh, Big Blame kill. wins kill. it. They lose so much potency on this defense. Lee Man gone, and now they're in A. Ultimate misses, and he jumped on by the MAC-10. It's oh. so hectic. He still takes one with him. Keeps us interested. Bomb's going down. Yeah, Config, though, picking up the orb and bringing the fight to them. He is somewhat of a berserker. Fiku, though, good for it. Two on two. We've got a big one here. Blame and Palace and low. So if Farley doesn't take one, this is a really awkward round for Blame. Farley needs to find at least one. Well, they can smoke Blame off if they like. A smoke towards Palace would be perfect. That's just if Milky's thinking. Default. Nice find onto Fiku. Farley does what he had to. Now Milky with the AWP is not the best perfect weapon for the job, but uh, bad kid, smoke, bad kid. smoke. Damn. Calls the bluff, and it's his. No so, time. Yeah, that's the end of that. Milky just a bit flustered there. He didn't have much time. He's going to lose everything. Great play. Blame down too, but braid down. Yeah, real it's dramas not... now. I don't know if he'll get away from this. Noisy too. Oh, fortunate. He needs to keep that orb moving. They're walking up a ramp. Config fast. He just walked straight through on the strafe. So nice from ultimate. Glaive's there though. And yeah, this one's going to go down very quickly. Look how much time there is left. Astralis are just... I was going to say, making short work That's of this. Great. And a great nade to confirm our suspicions. Milky, just a deagle and some Kevlar. He'd love an AK-47 and one quick click could have put it in his palms, but that's 13. For someone. So pick, that's nice. pick your player. Blame would be safe. Actually, no. Blame's dink now. Yeah, he um, has to sit in Palace and maybe fluff the cushion. Glaive. Glaive. I'm going to go with Glaive. Choose your hero. Who needs the frags the most? But they're all very even apart Nobody from... Nobody needs them in a team game I like Counter-Strike, Alex. I keep our even distribution, oh. Chadney. Well, they need to share them in that case. Okay. Flame has really taken off. He's quite ahead of the rest of the pack. This is good. Yeah, there nice. we go. Right. Nice. Couple nice. for Glaive, couple for Config. That's sharing and that's... Got company. He's got Fiku. Oh! Support him and he'll take two with the one bullet. Problem solved. He re-peeks in and he actually tags up Farley. That's huge from him. He's trying to get star points on a USP. It was a cold zero, mate. Jumping AWP, why not? I mean, all he has to do is not peek. Farley does fire off a shot, hoping for the wall bang, but these guys are very shaken. And, oh, wow, Farley pre-aims. And now the AWP does go down. He takes All it takes is a config headshot to spiral, but it hasn't. Oh, you're going to try and save again, are you? Oh, not this time round. Fiku will eliminate. Oh, Furlan, doesn't matter if he's flashed, he still manages to pull the trigger full blind onto one, and Ultimate close quarters, he's ready for more! Oh, Ultimate winning the round right in front of them with the AWP. He can grab the AK for survival. Lehman has caught that palace luck. And Config, yeah, he's hard committed. 
Enemies on either front. Lee Man's being walked on. He's not ready, but that's Ultimate's job. Nicely played by Ego. Shut well, Milky Peak. Oh no, they're gonna allow Glaive to walk on through. So this is a lot of bodies committing to A. Three to receive him. Biku smoked and he still finds one. Oh, he's not expecting the push. Config profits from the reload sound cue. Lehman's up in Palace oh, right yeah. now. This I is think huge. Zipex was looking and yeah, it has been acknowledged by Astralis. They have the numbers. They have the numbers even more so now. Poor Farley wants to plant, but there's so many bodies that can deny from Palace, from CT, a little jump and underhand. Finding opens could go wrong oh. if Zipex hits that, but Milky denies a double push, a double. Connect to smoke, Lance, Fiku, you're in trouble, mate. Molly dead, this is falling apart now. It's just calculated, this is cold, hard counter. And we need someone to be the counter, Lee Man has delivered. Ultimate has as well, puts the barrel in, upgrades to a Galil for the close quarters. Engagement can't adjust though. It's Config looking to end it here and has taken leaps in that direction. A triple kill from the Dane leaves Furlan to retake. The bomb yet to be planted, but he can't contest it. He needs this duel with Config and he needs it cleanly. Smoke fading, does adjust, does find it, but it cost him all of his health. The flames may even be his undoing and that's the end of that. Mar down. Avoiding the flashes, Ooh, they're in. A nade from Furlan's a little late. Could still do something. Not quite, as they're broken through. Glaive chipped away at. No Kevlar on Zip, nor Farley. Bombs already planted, though. One expert very heavily favoring Astralis here. And that's a great oh. click out of Furlan. The first out of his USB on the swing through. And a T-smoke. Now Furlan's caught Glaive as well. Zip's not going to have much to do here if he loses Farley. Nothing for them to do and a clean retake. Everybody like a basic level of understanding of yeah. how to approach FPS games. And then it, obviously it it's, could still gonna be, it's still gonna be difficult when you come into Counter-Strike, right? Yeah. You, it's not always the, the, the most fun of times. But uh, if you have that initial understanding, oh, they're rushing you down, Milky Mate. It's fine. Yeah, it is fine. Completely let that one go. All cream milk today. Mmm. Oh, that 0.5%. I like that clotted cream vibe. Milky Way. On his way. And yeah, these guys are powdered right now. Oh, and that's Furland gone down. You're too good. You're too good today. I can't keep up. From powdered milk to powdered bottoms. Blame. Not long for this world. Lee Man's coming in. And actually, I think they, they're aware of it. So he's going to have to just chill his beans. Turns the flash and they do fire off a pot shot. But this one is just a question of time. Blame would love to take and force a couple of rebuys and it's not going to happen this time. Three to zero. So he's beaten any of the uh, responses available. Furlan has to get down the vent quick and has. Oh, that's a catch. Completely caught off by the pace of Glaive and he can win the round alone here based off of the space he's taken. Milky has beaten him to the punch in terms of descending, but he has to catch the timing. Oh, the door swing open. Milky nearly takes two. They were completely caught off guard by that. An ultimate, usually good for one or two from here. Drops a smoke to peek around. I like this. I like this a lot. And it's not enough. Glaive shuts it down. He opens that round. Right here I mean, when, there, you, when, you, when you put it in terms of vertigo, them being 14 when it was released, that was when I was like, holy moly. Crazy, right? Holy moly, red beans and all of that. Ravioli. Glaive again. Look at the space he's taken. He constantly gets them scratching their heads. This time in the head-to-head, -head, it's Furlan that stops Glaive before too much can go oh. down. Zipex straight through that hot wall bank. That is a big return. And now Milky taking some initiative. He's gone straight into trophy. They've lost Yard. And the main body of Astralis' assault still lingering here. Oh, just turned away. It leads to another death for Blame. And a move, boys. Milky's coming. Yeah, and he's not slowing down. They forced him, or forced them, into the uh, lobby. And that's three for Config. And they've got real... <laughs> yeah, they've run out of the creativity, I think. So that's a zip opener. You don't see those every day of the week. That's a Config opener. And yeah, you definitely do see one of those every day of the week. You do. You really do. And he's caught another elsewhere. Blame just deals with the aggression on ramp. And so... A very convincing, the only convincing T round we're going to see out of Astralis so far. Five's a pretty damn good haul, and Config looks like he's oh. destined for greatness. What did you take on Config's uh, interview? I mean, I don't know if he was perfectly summarizing it, but my take was that he's grown up to the point where he's starting to find his work-life balance. Like, this hasn't always been a job. Playing this video game was a big passion before it was ever a job. 
it seems like he's kind of talking about that that balance between it being well heading back towards ramp gonna be worried about milky here yeah let's see if he's good for it seems ready double zoom no issue molotov doff has to respect it good smoke it actually helps them good work from the cts to maintain presence they've been flashed off and descending who's down there no one yet wide open but lower sight now the numbers oh, the numbers game is a weird one this is the last round of play so full commit for everyone and low sight last bomb not yet planted they've got the space they've got the control they just want to decide how to position he's got a spray wall bank line up for the Astralis plant believe okay. it or not that's not coming through now they can place door side, right? Because they cleared it out from window and Farley there close to the AWP. They know what territory they have. This is good for Astralis to start piecing this one together. He has to decide when this orb closing the gap. Farley posted up on the exchange and Farland cut down. That was the clear. Nice work. 3v4 and a quick scope out of ultimate. Oh. Swinging into blame, going for another one. But Astralis... Couple of seconds away, Milky to change the play. He spots him. He can do this, but the no scope cancelled. Config has saved us. Screws out towards yard they go. Yeah, nice tracking from Blaine, but unable to actually connect onto the head. And Lee Man's giving it to him. Spammer the pistol, dancing with trouble and death. It's Blaine for another before he does meet his end. Fiku's lost the bomb. It looks like Ego have lost the round. But seven on the T side. Oh, my God, he nearly does actually bring it into a 1v1. But the point I was trying to make, fly through, and a lot of information once those smokes do fade. Can Milky ply his trade earlier than that? Glaive jiggling for this. He's not ready. Oh, good engage. He might swing into this, and he does. Eliminate the threat on main. Quick find, though, from Farley, and more to be posted. Configs here just to farm up some extra oh, frags. Yeah, no issues for Config and style points as well. Getting his gun out in time from Fallon's Miss Deeg. He knows what you're up to, Fiku. Dead man, surely. Ooh, even the wall bang hit, so his days were numbered. Nuke. Fallon's down. That tends to be the key to success. Yeah, there's a lot of space here. This could could still go wrong if config wasn't config and config really has no issues just mowing them down we'll call this 13. the rounds are really racking up at a unprecedented pace and it was that second half of our first where we really lost the potency of ego bop oh, giving it a crack isn't he? he has the bomb on his back the eagle in hand would need to hit some Absolute screamers, as Ben the Legend would call them. Well, he's not bad. It, it will have to move. See him on the pivot back. If he wants to take the fight, may as well. They've got him surrounded. They know it's just down to the pistols. This is claiming those eeks. Ah, oh, mate, they definitely know where you are. Oy. Yeah, Blame is going to get the final frag off the round. One round, Blame F bringing his big gun aggressive. And just like that, Milky caught on the edge of the smoke. They are getting absolutely oh, butchered by Blame Air. Finally, Furlan put something down range, and it's a double in quick succession. Fiku shot in the back of the head as well. Config clears out the lobby alone. And Furlan, well, he's known and flanked. God, Config just wants to finish this game. I think he's got a hot date. Yeah, it's really quick here. They have definitely let Config off the leash. As it, like, they've most unbridled aggressive player they have. And then you're also seeing oh, timing. Well, in turns, Config takes him down. You've also seen Glaive doing some of these more uh, int Look at this. Look how much fun they're going to have with this wall. Oh, actually, Flame's gotten away with that. Ultimate missed in a couple of stray bullets. Milky's across. Yeah, that's promising. Config, however, is on T roof. Of course he is. Um, yeah. Of course he is. Of course. We should have seen that coming. And oh, no, that's the bomb. And he deletes Furlan. He does not have the X-ray, though. Sometimes it looks like he does. Two remaining for this one to conclude. Astralis have got a very firm grasp on this, but also I think the biggest takeaway is that the individual stars are demonstrating just how individually starred yeah. they are. Look, Convict's probably going to keep pushing. Glaive gets a freebie right here. One man standing. Fiku, all to do in squeak. He can't even get the kill. Glaive will pick up the final, and it's going to be...